In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create the exact same chalk brush that Feng Zhu uses in his videos to do um, most of his designs. Real quick, please hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bar so you can be notified as I upload more videos. And also please follow me on Instagram forward slash arasjart where I'll be posting all of my updates. So I'll try to make this really easy for you. Uh, first thing is I'll show you how you could pull this brush out of your legacy brushes inside Photoshop. Uh, if, but if you don't want to do that, you can simply click the link below in my description box and uh, download my pre-made brushes, which has this uh, chalk brush in it for you. Okay, so I'm currently using Photoshop CC. I'm not sure if you could do this in the older versions, uh, but in Photoshop CC, I'll just click that little um, top right uh, icon and click, drop down all the way to where it says legacy brushes. Once you click that, you'll get all these legacy brushes. Open that folder, go all the way down to M brushes, and then select the one over here, which, is, which has a 36 uh, pixel added to it. Now what you wanna do is make sure that your windows and brush settings is open, and all you wanna do is click the shape dynamics, and then you wanna to go to size jitter, and put that to pin pressure. So that's pretty much it. Now, once again, so that's the first way of doing it. The second way is I have pre-made these brushes. The first one is basically the default round brush, which uh, uh, Feng Zhu preaches on using basically just the basics, uh, the round brush, the, the, the airbrush, and also uh, a generic chalk brush. And I prefer to use the one that he uses because it just, uh, makes me feel better and I think it's the same thing for you guys that's why you're uh, watching this video I'll quickly show you some thumbnails that I used to generate with this particular chalk brush uh, I did some of these creepy spiders over here now unfortunately I did not save the silhouette so what I'll do is I'll drop the uh, level down and uh, looks a bit choppy right now but you kind of get the idea or this one this is a better read this is for one of my character designs um, I, I like I like I like the way it leaves edges uh, and it because it's a fun brush to use I find that it helps me uh, design longer instead of like wanting to I don't like something when it looks too digital it makes me not want to draw as much and here's the quick flush of the thumbnails well I want to say quick flush but here's the flushed version of the thumbnails and for the spiders here's a flushed version um, six designs that I liked uh, again, same thing. It was I mainly used this brush that I'm talking about, the chalk brush. Okay, so once again, you can either create your own exact same brush that I showed you using uh, pulling up pulling the brush up using legacy brushes, or you can go ahead and click the link in my description box, and um, it will take you to basically the the brushes that you see over here. I have the basic round one. Um, airbrush, chalk brush, they're all the same. It's just I, I like to, I like uh, the way Feng Zhu set it up so that it's basically you can quickly change in sizes instead of manually increasing and decreasing. These are like standards. If I know if I'm going to use between you know 20 and 40, I'll select one of these brushes and then I'll increase a little bit and decrease. Um, and also the airbrush. I have it in reduced size so that when I'm designing sometimes I like how this very brush tapers uh, which again I, I learned this from Feng Zhu so anyway I put them all together here if, the, if you found this video helpful please go ahead and like the video and leave a comment and let me know what you think thanks